My name is Jonathan Jones. I'm 17 years old and I go to Chaparral and I graduate in June. I walked into high school last year with zero credits and that was due to me being previously homeschooled and nothing transferred over into the public school system and I had to completely restart. <laughs> My name is Jenny Lopardo. I work for Communities and Schools at Chaparral High School. When I met Jonathan, he was a 17-year-old senior who was getting ready to graduate. Um, however, had missed the last two years of school. He did some homeschooling that didn't count. Um, he has a beautiful little baby boy, lives on his own, um, and somehow he's trying to figure out how to graduate and become successful regardless of not living at his own home with his parents and not having the success of his first two years. They've had a lot of pushing me. I really like their civics class that we have. I mean. Everybody gets, it gets a little chattery every once in a while, but we're all pretty good. I mean, we all kind of came out of the same boat. We all had our own struggles, whether it was credits, whether it was ditching, whatever it was. And it kind of shaped us up a little bit better. And, and it was a civics leader, leadership class, so therefore it kind of makes us better leaders. We've been able to help Jonathan with food, um, clothing. He's been in here for lunch, giving him a nice, safe place to hang out for lunch. We've also helped him when um, he did become homeless, getting him marked in the um, school system as well. Jonathan has the most motivation of any student that I have ever met before. He, regardless of what is going on in his home life, has been to school, comes every day, works hard in his classes, has AP classes, um, then leaves Chaparral, goes to Cowan for night school, and then gives up his Saturdays to graduate on time. So he's working so hard, which makes me a believer in him. I always had somebody behind me pushing me, whether it was my girlfriend or teachers or my family or whatever it was, I always had somebody pushing me. So, I mean, didn't really have much of a chance to feel like giving up. I never doubted that he wouldn't graduate on time, not even for a minute. I can't wait to walk across the stage and then walk off and go and grab my kid.